We explain the 1916 World Series. The 1916 series would see the Brooklyn team, named the Robins at that point after their beloved manager Wilbert Robinson, make their first postseason appearance against the returning champion Boston Red Sox. Many had thought the Red Sox would have had a challenging year with Tris Speaker being traded and Smokey Joe Wood holding out in protest of his friend's trade. However, the losses were made up for by a young Babe Ruth, who had a tremendous season winning 23 games. The Robins came in as a heavy favorite, as the Red Sox had not been very dominant at the bat that season, barely passing the Chicago White Sox for the pennant. The Robins were bringing the firepower of Zach Wheat and the comic, unmatchable style of Casey Stengel. Robinson had enraged his former friend John McGraw by besting the Crosstown Giants to get his team here. Despite the Robins being the heavy favorites, the Red Sox pitching came to shut them down. A combined force of Leonard, Shore, Mays, and Ruth were able to match against veterans like Jack Holmes and Rube Marquard and youngsters like Jeff Pfeffer. Casey Stengel hit 364 for the series, but it wasn't enough to take away the Red Sox momentum in games like Game 2, where Babe Ruth gave up a run early on before then pitching 13 innings and allowing only six hits against an equally matched Sherry Smith. In the end, the Robins would only win Game 3 under Jack Combs in the first World Series game played at Ebbets Field. The Red Sox would again play at Braves Field to get more gate revenue and take the series 4-1, completing a back-to-back -back championship. This also became the first series where both teams recorded a save. The Game 2 14-inning game was tied over the years, but finally broken in 2018 in the World Series rematch between these two teams. Babe Ruth's star would continue to rise. Hall of Famers from this series would include Stengel, Ruth, Harry Hooper, Herb Pennock, Zach Wheat, Robinson, and Mark Waugh.